Hello everybody, I'm me Happy Dude, and welcome to Duelist. Now, if you don't know, Duelist is kind of like a, uh, a card game slash uh, 3D chess type of thing. I find it to be really fun. I used to play this a lot more, but I just recently got back into it because they have these boss battle things and tons of quests, and they've really improved on the game recently. Uh, so we're going to jump into a few uh, a few ladder matches just to have fun. I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, Lyonar decks and the Songhai decks. Right now we're going to go Songhai. Um, you will understand the mechanics as we go along, but basically, if Hearthstone was a 3D chess board, that would be this game. It's very, very fun. I don't know if it's- I don't think it's on mobile devices, but I know it's on a computer, um, which is what I'm playing it on. It's been fantastic. Uh, I've gone up a few ranks so far. This rank- I don't want to brag, I don't want to be braggy, but I have gone up a few ranks. Um, so we've got a few- you can see the mana cost down there, that's just like, uh, Hearthstone or any other turn-based deck building game where you get one mana uh, you get one additional mana each turn and it builds up so right now I think I'm going to keep ghost lightning in case he spams me with a bunch of little creatures and let's get rid of the big flying guy on our dancing blades okay so we have this this three spell this killing edge is really good if we have a backstab card but we don't have a backstab card right now so it's not great um, so right now it's his turn. We have two attack, 25 health. The, the cool thing about this game, as, a par as opposed to Hearthstone, is that your generals, your main characters, are just as much of a player in the game as anything else would be. Let's see what he has. Oh, Windblade Adept. Okay. So this character has a, an ability Zeal, and Zeal is whenever the creature is adjacent, and Diagonal is also counting as adjacent, just within the uh, eight squares surrounding the middle. Uh, they gain plus two attack, this guy does. Some creatures have different zeal stuff. Um, so right now we can actually do... If we just go right here... I mean, we can play... So these little bubbles in the middle, if you drop a creature onto them, or if you touch them at all, you get an extra mana crystal for that turn, but... We're gonna have to pay one to get one back, and then we'll just have to kill his creature anyway. But you know what? Let's just... Let's do it so that he doesn't get it. So play it there. Phoenix Fire spell does three damage to anything, so we're gonna use that on his little Windblade guy. It's a two mana for two mana trade, and now he's down on less monsters. And next turn I can move my little dragon. Uh, all creatures have summoning sickness. Next turn I can move my little dragon, and he's got flying. Flying means you have unlimited moves each turn, or you can move anywhere on the map. Uh, so I can pick up an empty mana crystal, and right now we're actually going to... Each turn we can replace a spell, so let's replace Ghost Lightning. Okay, now we have Firestarter. Firestarter is very good. Oh, Inner Focus is okay. I don't know if it's exactly what we want here, but it'll do. We're going to have four mana next turn. Uh, five once I move. Okay, so I can, because I have flying, if he just goes after this mana spring, I can fly the guy down here, grab that mana spring, and play Firestarter. And Firestarter is not super powerful unless you have spells, and we have a decent amount of spells. <laughs> so that'll be good. Uh, oh, he, got a, he has a Rush minion. Rush minions don't have summoning sickness. Oh, he knows that I'm gonna fly my guy up there. So he just took that mana crystal just so that we couldn't get it. Because he's a dork face. I think that's what the kids call people who take your stuff these days. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so we got our dragon flying to the orb. Um, that's very nice. He's a very nice dragon. Well done, dragon. Uh, so we can play fire starter, or if we play this guy, he's got the ability to provoke this Primus Shield Master, and provoke makes anybody that's close to you have to attack that creature. So we can basically prevent this guy from killing our dragon, but I don't know if we care about that right now. What we could also do is play fire starter, inner focus, and then move him again. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I want to do that. So I'm going to play Fire Starter. I'm going to use Exhaust on him. So anybody with three attack or less gets reactivated, which stops the summoning sickness. Um, which then means that I can do... I can use this guy as like a token creature. Um, let's get behind him. And then let's send this guy down here to kill his creature. If he wants to, he's going to be able to kill my Fire Starter next turn. But I think that I'm okay with that. Um, just because, okay, so we, now we have a young flame wing, which has flying again. Uh, we killed all of his creatures, and his ability is that he, um, gives one of his friendly minions plus two attack every two turns. 
And ours is we can teleport our guys anywhere. Okay, so he has a provoke creature that's just on the field. He is indeed going to go after our fire minion, uh, which is smart. I don't know why he would have possibly not gone after our fire minion. Uh, okay, and he's going to amp up the attack of his provoke guy. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's just going to leave him there. All right, then. Um, so we could teleport one of our guys away to safety, but I don't want to do that. Um, we have five mana. Oh, boy. So we can basically kill his big guy right now by sacrificing our uh, spark, little sparky guy. But again, I really don't feel like doing that. Um... Let's go right there. I just wanted to get the I just wanted to get our uh, dragon lark out of the range of this guy's provoke. Uh, I can't actually move this guy unless he his other minion's dead. So right now these guys are in a provoke lock, so they have to attack each other, um, which isn't great. I mean, it could be better. Also, that guy has five cards, and I've got three cards right now, so he's winning a lot on card advantage he could also power up his minion and then attack our provoke guy and then we're pretty much uh, toast oh no he's gonna dispel our space so dispel is basically silence in hearthstone so this guy is no longer provoking everyone which means he can move enough to attack my guy if he wants to is that what he's gonna do I don't know this guy's kind of playing a little weird is he gonna attack the shield guy with both him and his minion. I think I might do that. Oh no, he attacked me. So when you attack people in this game, they attack back just like Hearthstone. You deal damage, you deal, deal damage back. So we can Phoenix fire his guy and then sacrifice this to Let's sacrifice this token for this 1-1 one, one creature. So now we have the dragon, we have our taunt guy. Our, uh, sorry, our shield master. So if we use Killing Edge with Phoenix Fire, that'd be a total of five, so we wouldn't be able to do anything else. But it would take care of his uh, Silver Garden Knight. This guy wouldn't have Provoke, though, which is too bad. Um, we could just Phoenix Fire Young Flame Wing. But that leaves, that, that leaves our shield guy open to death. But you know what? Let's do that. So we're going to Phoenix Fire Silver Garden Knight. So this guy's gone. And then we're gonna young flame wing uh, back here, um, and then we're just gonna attack directly into his face. It's a good trade, 18 to 21, so we're in the lead slightly. Um, I want to move this guy down here just so we have more coverage. Okay, now we got okay. We have a storm Aratha, which is a 6-5 flying, so we have a lot of flying guys. So the terrain is basically: is he gonna go? Who is he gonna go after? Is he gonna kill the little dragon or the big dragon? Does he have an AOE? I don't know. This is this is interesting. What what moves does he possess? Oh, Tempest. Oh, you son of a bitch. I should have just attacked you in the face with that uh, Provoke guy last turn. And then he's going to attack into the face of the dragon. Or he's going to play a Provoke creature. That wouldn't be good either. He's just... He's attacking me in the face a lot. I'm not sure if I appreciate that, but... You know, whatever. Actually, if I do, if I teleport the dragon, no, I think I want to kill that provoke guy first. So let's give this guy a little bit of a boost. Okay, so now he's got one health left still. So if he has another Tempest or a Phoenix Fire, we're kind of dead. Uh, I'm going to keep the bug in my inventory just in case I need him. Let's move the dragon just one space away. So now at least he has to move before he kills him. All right, that's good. So we've got 29... De oh, okay, so we've got another minion power-up, but I don't think the dragon's going to last for this turn. Um, yeah, yeah, true strike, which is unfortunate because that would have dealt a ton of damage to him. Oh, rest in peace, young flame wing. You will be remembered. He's still got three cards in his hand. Oh, sun-tied maiden. Oh, wow, that's a, that's a big... That's a big boy big boy hmm. oh and he's just been boosted which is not my favorite thing in the world to have happen so now he's got five this game turned around very quickly he's only got 10 health though I've only got 13 um, I want to move right what do I want to move that's the furthest away from him 
Yeah. And now I'm gonna hang on to this power up, because if we give that guy the power up, the next turn he'll die. We just we just gotta hope he survives until next turn. Because if he does, we can hit him up with the killing edge, he'll have ten, and just be able to attack him the other guy and kill him. What's it what's he gonna have? What's he gonna do? Is he just gonna go for my face? Just gonna go for uh the little me. No, he summoned a a gambit, so he gets another card. So he's got six mana, three cards left. This'll de this'll decide the entire the entire fight. I mean, I've got my little flying beetle out there. He's got eight health. I've got eleven. If he and his angel both attack me, I only have four health left. So he only needs four damage and he wins. Is he got a provoke guy? Oh, he's got a provoke guy. Oh wait, hold on, never mind. I do have a dispel. So he has to kill me this turn. He still has to kill me this turn. Oh, we're we're really close. Oh, don't give it to that. Oh, that was a mistake, friendo. Sorry. Mucho mistakos. You're not gonna give me this turn. I live to fight another day. I do apologize for this. But uh but I think it's time to ring down the hammer, because we have more than seven right now. So if we do this, boop. Yeah, that's right. Which means now I can go here. Power him up with the killing edge. And uh, straight to the face. That's right. Ten attack to your heart, buddy. Ah, oh, won it with four health. Thank goodness I got that dispel creature. I would I would not have been able to hold on to that. Oh, that was real close. Level 10 reward. Oh, sweet. Jackery Avatar. You can tell I'm new because I'm still getting low-level reward cards. Whenever you cast a spell, this minion gains plus one, plus one. Ah, that's not too bad. That's good. We got uh, five wins in a row. Bonus progress. Got another one of those cubes. Nice. Assassin. Now, um, do we want to do... Oh, which deck do we want to use? You know what? Let's build, a, let's build a new deck. Let's build a new deck right here, right now. And all right, there we have it. Okay, so we've basically just focused on growth creatures that's really the only theme of this deck growth creatures and flying um, because I don't have a lot of cards right now so uh, this is this is the deck list this is what we're working with it's not great I'll be honest with you um, it's not perfect because we have absolutely no cards in this game however uh, we'll just leave it like as a default magmar one come out and play another ladder with it and then after this ladder it'll uh, that'll be it for us so we'll go ahead and go in with magmar try to win one more one more round um, should be a fun time, uh, unless I get decimated and just lose all over the place. Uh, but you know, that sometimes that happens. <laughs> it's okay, it'll be fine. It looks like he's got, what are, what are those, lightsabers coming out of his back? It's pretty cool. We got the, oh, we're, we're fighting the ugly booty, or Bodhi. Either way, uh, this should be fun. This should be interesting. Uh, greater Fortitude, nice. We've got the Saber Spine Tiger with Rush. Let's throw back Grail Master. And Necroseer. We'll keep the Adamantian Claws. There we go. We got a f we got two fives. All right. Well, that that wasn't super helpful. We did get one of our grow cards though, which is nice. Oh, what does he have? Oh, so creatures with celerity can move and attack twice in any given turn, which can be a huge advantage <laughs> when it helps. So we're gonna drop drop. We're gonna drop. We're gonna drop a rush creature right here. Um, or we could drop it lower and then still get that mana down there. Oh, that might actually be nice. So let's just drop it right here. Let's hightail it right there. Play Greater Fortitude. And then attack their Celerity creature. And then, oh, look at that. Pulled it off pretty, pretty well, actually. That didn't go too bad. Of course, now he might be able to pick up two mana crystals next turn. But whatever's. Whatevers. Um, I think I'll just keep the hand that we have because we're getting close to the higher mana crystals already. This game starts off pretty fast. Um, he's going to drop, what, a provoke creature? I'm guessing. He's got to have something to provoke. Or is he going to drop a true strike? Oh, okay. So he used him to buff his attack and then decrease his health. And now he's now he's gone, which uh, makes me upset. I'll be honest. Makes me, makes me very upset. So now he's replacing some cards. He doesn't have mana left, though. So if we take, if we go up here, we'll have five at that point, and then we can drop our big guy. Okay. Yep. No, no, I wanted to. Okay. You know what? Drop this guy right here. 
just to spite you guys. Just so you guys can't move. That's it. That's all I want to do. I just want to. I just want to. I'm not even gonna use the mana crystal. That was stupid. I thought. I thought it was gonna give me the mana crystal from doing that, but nope. That's all right. I'll deal with it. Oh, natural selection. Sweet. If he only has that creature out, that creature's dead next turn. I think he won't just have that. Oh. So I got no health back, did I? Yeah, I got zero because I didn't take any damage yet. Well, this guy's a dick. Windblade Adept. Oh, jeez. Goodness. Well, this was not a. That was not a good turn for me. Not a good turn at all. I can spend two and kill the lowest creature on the field. How about I do this? How about I move here? I attack this guy. I drop Dancing Blades right in front of this this person. Boom! Uh oh, dead. You just got sliced by my blades, friendo. Natural selection will probably come in handy. Honestly, I like the amount of the different cards that we have. I think that our Bloodborne spell should be ready next turn, hopefully. I think I just chose not to use it because I used the Dancing Blades. Uh, this has not been going bad. They've got four cards in their hand. I've got four cards in my hand. Both have five mana. Oh, airdrop and provoke. Oh, nope. I don't need to worry about it. I don't need to worry about it at all. Because I've got natural selection, he's gonna be pretty pissed. All right, this is gonna be fun to watch because he'll be real, he'll be real mad. So we got six, so that'll be two. We can do two, and then our ability if we want to start racking up damage points. Um, we don't have seven yet. We can do two and four. We can do either of the two and fours. You know what? Let's pop this range guy back here. We'll play natural selection. Dead. Um, then we'll move. All the way up this way. We'll attack him in the face twice. And then next turn... So this guy with the bow is a ranged unit. He can attack from any length and still deal damage. As if he was right in front of the bad guy. So next turn I can drop Colossus and burn uh, my spell. My little spell that I have. Or Necros here. We're, we're not doing too bad. I mean, he could drop like an... He, that was an airdrop provoke creature, which I've never seen before. Because I've ha I have absolutely no cards. So maybe he completely outmatches us and I just don't know. Uh, him and his crazy yellow sword. What is that? What's that made out of a... I don't even know what... Is that a rock? He's just dragging it on the ground. He doesn't even know how to use a weapon. What's he going to do? Oh, deal five damage to an enemy minion. Oh, man. And then I'm guessing he's got true strike. Oh, he just went up a lot of health. Magnetize. Oh, he's going to kill the... <sighs> well, this... Another four round for me. Did go through a few cards, but still, it's not okay. So we're gonna have to use this this guy. We're gonna have to pop him right, like right there, and then power me up with my ability. Let's replace the Necros here, because that's not what I want. Okay, Fire Star. We can do that. As long as we get a spell. We don't have a spell. We have a Rock Pulverizer. All right. Um, hopefully he doesn't have Natural Selection or a card like that. Because next turn, this guy's going to get real big. He's going to have 5-12. No! Oh, he got dispelled, though. So now he's just a 1-7 forever. Piss. Uh, Windblade Adept. Oh, boo-hoo, you've got a Windblade Adept. And a... Oh, Silver Guard. Come on, man. Well. Got Adamantium Claws. Fire starter, there's the provoke guy again. So would be six. Oh, this is not looking great for, for me right now. But I've got to attack the provoke guy if I want to do anything. So I can use the adamantium claws, kill him in a single hit. I'll take three damage. And that'll be four. Then I can do six. I think I'm going to have to replace the fire starter. Oh, or I can just drop dragon bone. That'll be probably next turn. Because right now I'm going to have to play this, deal with this guy, um, play this guy right here, move this guy up, and that'll be it. So my Colossus would have been gigantic at this point if I had been able to use him. I've got six attack though, um, which is fun. It's a fun thing to have. He only has one card. We have two cards, so there's also that. Destroy enemy with the lowest attack, or tied to the lowest attack. 
Uh, 2-8. All right. And he's going to get crazy buffed, isn't he? I feel like that guy's going to get crazy buffed. He attacks, my guy. Who's he going to give it to? Oh, he, get, he gives it to his 4-2 guy. Of course he does. Of course he gives it to him. Of course I can just do natural selection, which would be fun. How about we move this guy up here? We do... Oh, not yet. Nope. Not yet. I almost killed my own guy. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, attacking a him. Gone. Which is unfortunate. This guy's dead. We'll place this guy right here. All right. Well, we basically gambled everything on the fact that he can't kill us next turn. Oh, he can, because he can just burn his ability. Oh, well, I should have thought about that before I just did my stupid move. I should have just replaced things. Yep, he's realizing it. Well, well, this was unfortunate. This, <laughs> my, All my game-winning plays were reduced into dust. Yep. 8 out of 10. Then attacks me just himself. Oh. If I only had a few more attack points defeat I was level one which is uh which is the thing that happened dampening wave oh that's a loss that's a that's a solid loss I'll give it to him you know I'll give him that he he wiped us off the board pretty much but um that's gonna be it for this episode of duelist uh, if you liked stuff like this it's a really fun game let me know in the description or the, not the description I'm so sorry you guys can't edit descriptions let me know in the comments <laughs> um, if you want me to do more of this stuff, I'm gonna be going through a few games over the next few days. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been Duelist. I've been me happy, dude. And as always, stay happy.